Automotive safety cases are very important because through the years we've actually promoted through responsible litigation changes in the way that cars are made and SUVs are made to make them safer for people. Uh, I've handled cases involving um, roof crushing, weak roofs that when the cars roll over they <laughs> crush. I've handled cases involving rollovers with SUVs that are unstable, they roll over and they crush. Uh, or seatbacks, that when there's an accident, a person may be properly seat belted, but the seatback fails and they go back and have serious injuries. Um, I've had cases involving seat belts that actually fail, pop out when the person is involved in an accident, or airbags that have failed when individuals are involved in accidents. And all of these are product defects that cause severe injuries or damage or death to indiv individuals. Um, through responsible litigation, we have been able to change things. Um, you'll see now that the SUVs are actually lower to the ground and wider, less rollovers. Uh, many of the seatbelts now are pretension seatbelts so that it actually, when you have a crash, it, it locks you in and brings your body down into the seat to prevent you from going up and hitting your head and actually locks in so that the seatbelt won't fail. Uh, over the years, seats have become safer so that they don't fail as much as they used to with the seatback failures that we used to see. Um, my goal now is actually to get the automo automotive companies to start using glazing on side glasses because what we have found out is that if people are thrown out of a vehicle, they have a very high chance of getting seriously injured or killed, but if they stay inside the vehicle, there's a much greater chance of survival. And we know that if you use safety glazing in the glass, it's very inexpensive, it can keep people in the vehicle. Uh, so what we do is we, we sue the automotive industry, we sue the manufacturers for making unsafe vehicles, for not using these concepts. Um, and w as we win these cases, the manufacturers realize, well, we don't want to pay any more money on these things, so let's start fixing the problem. And it's starting to make a difference.